why are you here? All these interruptions are enough to make one insane. <laughs> here, take this and leave me to my work. Trouble me no more. Your curiosity will be the death of you. I have no room. I'm sorry. Did I break your now concentration? Where this. Hello, my friend. Greetings!
I can't carry any more. this. I can't carry any more. Hello, my friend. Greetings! serve you. Hot down here.
I can't carry any more. No room. Hello, my friend. Greetings. It's always a pleasure to see one of my best customers. I know that you've been venturing deeper into the labyrinth, and there's a story I was told that you may find worth the time to listen to. One of the men who returned from the labyrinth told me about a mystic anvil that he came across during his escape. His description reminded me of legends I had heard in my youth about the burning hellforge where powerful weapons of magic are crafted. The legend had it that deep within the hellforge rested the anvil of fury. This anvil contained within it the very essence of the demonic underworld. It is said that any weapon crafted upon the burning anvil is imbued with great power. If this anvil is indeed the anvil of fury, I may be able to make you a weapon capable of defeating even the darkest lord of hell. Find the anvil for me, and I'll get to work. Greetings! I serve you.
Now where would I put this? Hello, my friend. Greetings! serve you. I need to get this to Griswold. Hello, my friend. Oh, I can hardly believe it. This is the Anvil of Fury. Good work, my friend. Now, we'll show those bastards that there are no weapons in hell more deadly than those made by men. Take this, and may light protect you. Greetings! Hello, my friend. Good day. How may I serve you?
Greetings! Kill, keep alive, and next time good bring to you.
my friend. Greetings! serve you.
I can't carry any more. Hello, my friend. Greetings!
friend. Greetings!
Now where would I put this? Now where would I put this? friend greetings serve you. Something for you I am making. Again, not kill Garbod. Live and give good. You'll take this as proof I keep word.
I can't use this yet. Pardon, but have you heard what has been happening? Some of the men have vanished from the village. Disa's sons, Aeneas and Ruth, claim to have seen strange lights glowing deep within the woods a few days ago. But no one has heard from them since. I too have seen a crimson shimmering from beyond the ash groves, but I've been too afraid to approach it. I fear that Ogden or our healer Pepin may be next. Won't you please find out what has happened? Hello, my friend. Greetings! Greetings! Good day. How may I serve you? serve you.
Take heed and bear witness to the truths that lie herein, for they are the last legacy of the Haradrim. I can't use this yet.
I can't carry any more. friend greetings Good friend. Good hero, a moment of your time, please. While attending one of the townsfolk who had taken quite ill, I noticed something odd about his home. There were strange sounds and a sickly sweet smell rising from the cellar. Thinking perhaps these fumes had something to do with his sickness, I investigated. In his cellar were monstrous worms shifting and squirming up from the underground. I beg of you, slay these creatures before they can make their way into the town. I left the door to his house open for you. It is the one opposite of mine. I must be getting close. friend greetings 
I have had a most disturbing experience that I must share with you, my friend. Earlier today, I was called upon to help one of the men that escaped from the labyrinth. He was deranged, violent, and kept lashing out at all of those who tried to calm him. I suspected that he was possessed by some sort of demonic entity, and so began to drive the evil from within him. After many hours, I was able to exorcise a demon who called himself Flesh Doom, but the Hellion fled into the labyrinth. You may think that I am mad, but after speaking with the man and battling with Flesh Doom, I believe that the labyrinth has somehow become a gateway to the underworld. As you descend deeper, you may find yourself upon the doorstep of Hell itself. Finally, the man who was possessed retained memories of an ancient demon blade named Shadowfang. If you find the demon Flesh Doom, beware this foul sword. While I fear the dangers below grow even greater, you must find Flesh Doom and slay him. Bring the sword to me and I can destroy it, but do not wield it, for its power can corrupt absolutely. All I can do now is pray for us all. What do we have here? Interesting. It looks like a book of reagents. Keep your eyes open for a black mushroom. It should be fairly large and easy to identify. If you find it, bring it to me, won't you? Yes, this will be perfect for a brew that I am creating. By the way, the healer is looking for the brain of some demon or another so he can treat those who have been afflicted by their poisonous venom. I believe that he intends to make an elixir from it. If you help him find what he needs, please see if you can get a sample of the elixir for me. What ails you, my friend? The witch told me that you were searching for the brain of a demon to assist me in creating my elixir. It should be of great value to the many who were injured by those foul beasts. If I can just unlock the secrets, I suspect that its alchemy holds. If you can remove the brain of a demon when you kill it, I would be grateful if you could bring it to me.
Excellent! This is just what I had in mind. I was able to finish the elixir without this, but it can't hurt to have this to study. Would you please carry this to the witch? I believe that she is expecting it. What? Now you bring me that elixir from the healer? Oh, I was able to finish my brew without it. Why don't you just keep it? I can't cast that here. Greetings! Hello, my friend. Greetings! Good day. How may I serve you? Good day. How may I serve you?
Hello, my friend. Greetings!